I would like to join that band Chatting with the angels in that land I would like to join that band Chatting with the angels in that land Hello and welcome to this Flair Musical Nugget Now today we're going to learn how to play a drum kit Without any drum kit We're going to use our foot as the bass drum we're going to use one hand on our right knee as our snare drum and our left hand on our other knee as our hi-hat. So that you know what that looks like, we have bass drum, snare drum and hi-hat. So to get started, we're going to first of all use our right leg and our right hand and what we're going to do is alternate between the two so we're going to play a left foot first followed by a right hand it would look like this let's see if we can do that together our counters in a one two three four Right foot Keep going And stop Now you can always keep practicing that if you are finding that really difficult But the whole point of it is to start getting our independence between our feet and our hands Let's try it again a little bit quicker here we go, together. A one, two, three, four. And stop. Now, we've got our left hand just sat there. So let's include our left hand. So what's going to happen is whenever we play a right foot, we tap our left hand together. And whenever we tap our right hand, we tap our left hand together. So we're going right foot, left hand, right hand and left hand together. It would look like this. Let's see if we can do that together. I'll count us in and we'll go nice and slow. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Now let's have a look at what that pattern sounds like when it's played on a drum kit. Press pause and have a go at just getting our hands and our feet working together. Welcome back. I hope you managed to grasp that idea. What we're doing is improving our coordination and our independence between our hands and our feet. This next exercise is going to increase that coordination and increase our independence. Our right foot and our right hand are going to do exactly the same thing. But our left hand is going to play some extra beats. So instead of playing one, two, three, four, it's going to play one and two and three and four and. Let's just do that together. We'll keep our feet still and our right hand still and just see if we can get our right hand tapping together. Here we go. A one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four 
Now, if we add our right foot and our left hand pattern to that, we would get this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You'll notice that our right foot and right hand only play on numbers. So one and two and three and four and. Let's see if we can do that together really slow. Here we go. I'll count us in. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Let's see if we can go a little bit quicker. One, and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now press pause on the video and have a go at playing the one and two and three and four hand pattern keeping our right foot and our right hand together Brilliant! Let's try that just a little bit quicker together. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and And stop. Now let's have a look at what that sounds like on the drum kit. Drum kit! Fantastic work. Now you can play drums. And okay, we're not playing on a drum kit, but we can create the patterns and we're using our independence and coordination. Thanks for joining us on this musical nugget and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>